Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, Grass. <laughs> no, not grasshoppers and sunflowers. Sunflowers and grasshoppers. I'm Professor Icepick, and tonight I'm going to be going back to Samurai Champloo sidetracked. Not going to lie, I'm starting a little late tonight because there was a bit of a power outage here. Hopefully everything is back to normal, but suffice it to say, I am not expecting to finish the game tonight. But I'm going to try to get as close as I can, and hopefully just a short session on Sunday, we should be all done. Once and for all. So let's get on with it. Oh wow, I unlocked deathmatch mode. It's apparently like their um multiplayer. Alright, let's do a quick audio check then. Let's do a quick audio check then. Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Yeah, you know what, I'm fine with that. Okay. We are good. Let's check out what image number two is. Red eye reprisal. Wow, these kind of suck. Okay, let's get back to the game then. Samurai Champloo. Let's go. All right, let's get on with it then. stayed too long in this town. I think it is time for us to set out again. You think that's what caused this? <laughs> Down in my gut, I knew all along this place was gonna end up being trouble. Cutting down my men in the street was bad form. From a strategic standpoint, don't you think that was a bit of a blunder? Those who call themselves samurai mustn't dishonor their swords. Swords are not like some wretched vampire who lives in the dark. They do not constantly require blood. You men face off, discuss ideas, trade blows, and slay men of character. The blood that comes from a man of great distinction is especially delicious. A sword can never forget that taste. For the sword, that taste defies description. Do you understand what I'm saying, my good gentlemen? Your sword is meant to be used to subdue and to slay yourself. It's intended to spill your own blood, to slake its thirst. The path of wickedness will only end in ruin. It no longer matters how I choose to go about this. I will crush you through sheer force of numbers. Although I am admittedly loath to use such uncouth methods, surely you are aware of that by now, aren't you? I just realized you were talking about that dog in the background. Also, hey, Dari. Huh? What'd he say? He's talking nonsense. 
This is no way to behave towards someone who is superior to you. This is why I can't stand young people today. Honestly, is this the hallmark of the Tokugawa era? No matter. I am a world apart from the assassins you have faced so far. I must warn you, I am incredibly powerful. I won't let my skills grow lax by taking on commoners like you. They vanished. All right, people. Kill them. Don't die. Don't worry about me. Just look after yourself. <coughs> All right. Let's get started. Ah, there it is. Take 
So yeah, just as a bit of a warning, like I said, there was a power outage earlier. It didn't last too long, but I mean, if it happens again, I'm, I'm just going to call the stream there, honestly. Hopefully I'll be able to, to finish up at least this level, but who knows. Sixty six again. They're way more generous with Kobans with them, I'm noticing. It's kind of annoying. So I had twice as many as I needed there. So, how you been doing tonight, Dari? Hmm? What can I do for you? Okay, there you go. Thank you. Come again.
let's see. Introductory. Try bird of passage then. Hello, come right in. So, is this what you want? This is what you want, then. Well, thank you very much. Please come again. Oh, 
Seriously, look at how many, how much Koban I've already got. I got 15 of them. It's like two and a half doors already. If I can get a full three, then. Do I hear three doors? Didn't even make his doors any more expensive. Bingo! It's my birthday! Is it weird that I only realized today that the uh, trance music is like a dance remix of the Game Over jingle? Damn it. Oh well. Well, at least we got another art piece. Uh, did you only just realize that after I mentioned it? it wasn't just me.
Why you criminal? Why you criminal? <laughs> File it under C for criminal. Why you criminal? <coughs> Say, do you remember how many floors there were last time? Cause I don't. Oh no, it's way more than five. It had to be at least like nine.
I think that's where I came from. So then where do I need to go? That's the real... Ah, here we go. Halt, halt! Halt, halt! Halt, halt! Halt, halt! Maybe it is down.
That was okay. <clears throat> All right. How the fuck did I get pushed away from the door? So I was literally mashing circle at the door and it just wouldn't let me through for whatever reason. Oh, <laughs> 
God, I'm not even at the halfway point yet.
It's like, I know that it's weird that I always want to have at least six Kobans on me at any time, but this feels like that's going to save time eventually, you know? Well, my buffer's all gone. Bummer. But it is what it is.
Jolly Donuts are my favorite. Oh my god, I think his level might actually be shorter. I mean, that's good, but like, also it's kind of depressing. Oh my god, wait, I remember this. I think this is the final- no, wait. Wait. Yep, this is the final section. Okay, cool. They got me good. There, did you see that? There were like four of them on there at once. That was nuts. I was honestly just doing it for the health refill, so it doesn't matter to me. Okay, I think this is it. I think we're finally at the boss. There we go. <laughs> Everything's going according to plan. Man of Seesom, Man of Pikta, 
It's your turn now. Whoa, dude. Warso, you're starting to look like an Oni. Man of Pikta. Huh? Everything is now ready. The red gem and the blue gem have been reunited. What's that gonna do? Bring blessings down from heaven. Hey, does something strike you as odd about him? Well, he was always nuts. He's got total wild beast eyes. Those who live in this land are the people of the Kamui. They are different from other men. Perhaps they have actually become Kamui. Nah. He's just a man. An ordinary human. Next, I'll set a fire. Then the rite is complete. Nochio, please give me strength. We from the old blood have returned to our sacred native soil. What? The Kamui have come! stupid thing, but I could at least be doing something in the scenes that I'm in. Games have their own way of doing things. Jeez, do you have any idea what we've been through? I seriously thought we were history. Hey! What the heck is that? <coughs> mm. Alright, now I gotta fight the fleshy one, which apparently has fire breath instead of bombs. So... Holy crap! Okay, I have no idea how I was supposed to dodge that. Yep, yeah, there it is. There's the game over jingle I was telling you about. Okay, where the fuck am I supposed to hide then? Was I supposed to block that? Oh, 
Whoa! With the gl with the Gladius, that was easy, like really easy. I just melted his fucking health bar like it was nothing. Great Opunire was performed successfully. All went according to the myths. My three good Kamui. This castle is the citadel for those of us from the old blood. You have my eternal gratitude. Well then prove it by feeding us, will ya? Or perhaps treasure. Don't speak for me. Eat until you are satisfied. <sighs> Pighead. <laughs> We'll just try to skip the credits this time. There we go. Incidentally, would you mind telling us how it came to be that you lost this castle? Something's bugging me, too. Who are those lousy Oni guys? That tale will be long in the telling. Sum it up for us. Continue to Warzo storyline. <laughs> thing wham bam champloo I like it okay well let's get started with Warzo let's say that uh, I somehow managed to wrap up his first three stages and get to the last one by 1 a.m. I'll do it but I doubt that's gonna happen, so let's go. The great Opunire has come. Kinda curious as to how he plays. Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago! Warsaw, it has been many years since your father was killed by the Matsumai. With your father now gone, the vital role of conducting the Opunire, the ceremony for returning the souls of the bears, falls entirely 
upon you. In order for you to pray to the Kamui Warso, you must first have your younger sister Notsu's blue gem and your red gem in your possession. And then you must reunite them. I know that you have been separated for most of your lives, Warso, but you do remember that you have a sister, do you not? Of course. Even though we've lived apart, we still share a bond. In that case, it is time for you to go see your sister, Nochiu. After that, go to the sacred land of the Old Blood. There you will encounter a bear god. All things in nature. <coughs> From start to finish, Samurai Champloo 15. Or is that 1.5? Okay, so they recommend using Ray's Staff as a good weapon. So I, I guess I'll equip that. What can I do for you? Huh? <laughs> Thank you. Come again. <coughs> mm. I can't tell if that's supposed to be like 15 or 1.5. Yeah. Already acquired this hot melting crap. Brazilian fire mixed in with some heavy electric guitar action. Ow. Hello, come right in. So, is this what you so is this what you this is what you want then? Well, thank you very much. Please come again. Okay, so. Jump. 
I had no idea this was even a path forward, honestly. Like, not at all. So I need 12 cobots to get through there. Alright, at 9 now. <coughs> huh, wonder why they aren't respawning. Let's go back then.
takes 11. Just need one more to get through that door. Whoa, are they just not respawning anymore? That's not cool. on the money. Warzo actually kind of sucks in this mode. Kukuri was added to the purchase list.
Honestly, if I can get through his first three levels tonight and just... <clears throat> yep. Oh, Lord Warsaw. We've been expecting your arrival. Please, come in. You're no Chiu, I take it. I am. It's been a long time, brother. For you. Gods, give us your blessing. to the land of the Kamui to send us the Bear God. If you travel into the mountains, you should find the Bear God there. Understood. Are you serious?
<laughs> Finally. <coughs> oh my god, why does the stage keep going? Stop already. Oh my god, are you serious? Ah, all right. God, finally. Please be the boss. Please. <coughs> okay, that sounds like, yep, there it is, the boss. Yeah. <laughs> 
Gotcha. Oh, come on. <laughs> Whew. for bestowing your charitable bounty upon us. We gratefully accept the Bear Cut's gift of this blood and flesh. We will never forget your generosity. This will keep us fed for a long time. War soul. You have our thanks. <laughs> what? That didn't make any sense. Useful. Playing again, just holler. Well, that sure was. Hello, come right in. So, is this what you want? This is what you want, then. Thank you. Please come again. <coughs> mm. I always hate it when the camera angles turn you around like that. Just so annoying, you know? It's kind of surprising to see him what in a town. Doing? I think they'd make like his own town or something for him. What 
wonder if No Home Go Home has any special properties to it. <laughs> Performer from Bristol represents the trip hop scene by coming at you ensemble. Tension gain rate increase. Ow. <laughs> So nothing too important, really. Hey, you there. Just a minute. What are you doing here? You're gonna have to show me your entry permit. Entry permit? That's right, an entry permit. Don't tell me that you don't have one. I don't have one. What is it? What, are you yanking my chain? Do you have any idea where you are? This is the Great Ezo Castle Marketplace! That's supposed to mean something to me? Man, are you stupid or something? This is an elite economic district that can only be entered by those who receive special permission from the Matsumae. Who decided that? Oh, <laughs> jeez! Isn't that obvious? The Matsumae. Or more specifically, him. Lord Matsumae. He's the one who decided it. This land is supposed to be open to all, for people to come and go as they like. My father and the Lord here decided that. This isn't how it's supposed to be at all. And this isn't how it's supposed to be won't let you in. Rules are rules and you're gonna have to obey them. All right, I'm gonna have to question you now. So, what's your name? Warsaw Turumaku. Turumaku? Hmm. How do you write that in Chinese characters? This isn't the agreement. What? <laughs> sure it is. This is the way it's done. I'm asking you how I can write your name in Chinese characters. This land was handed down from my great-grandfather and from his great-grandfather before him. This land has been entrusted to those of us from the old blood by the Kamui. It has been protected by us since before the heavens and the earth were split. I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. What about the previous agreement? Rules are way more important than agreements, right? Am I right? I wish to speak with your lord. Show me to him. Huh? Show you to him? No way is a nut job like you gonna see the lord. Who do you think you are? Is he in the castle? Oh, back up! You don't have entry papers. I can't let you in here. You know, I'm tired of talking. I'm just gonna kill you. Hmm. <coughs> well, that kept going. Kill. Ah, uh, thirty. All right, find them. God, why is he so weak right now?
There we go. So, you have caused a pointless commotion, I see. You're right. It was pointless. Why did you do it then? He drew his sword first. I'm not to blame for this. <laughs> well said. Warso, your father was the kind of man who would never start a fight that didn't need to be fought. The Matsumai are treating their agreement with my father like a piece of trash. He's right. This land was meant to be a free trade zone where everyone would be treated equally. But somewhere along the way, the Matsumai and the Kijin took over. It's ridiculous to think that the old blood are not even allowed to enter. If we go on this way, Surviving only on the bounty of the gods, we from the old blood will all die out. Tell me, Warso, don't you think our trading rights in the marketplace should be placed far above those from the Matsumai? We don't need to trade. Acquiring excessive wealth does nothing but call down disaster. So, what do you intend to do, then? We will maintain the ways handed down to us by our ancestors. Nothing more. But if we don't do that... Warso, where are you going? To see Nochiyu. You want to ask her the will of the Kamui? That's right. Wow, those subtitles at one point were like completely wrong. <clears throat> so apparently this is going to be similar to the last stage, except I'll be fighting Black Tengu instead of, uh, well, monkeys. So that'll be good.
Okay, that's not good. Okay. 15, 14, 13, 11, 10, 9, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, yep, made it. There we go. Whew, that was a close one. Karasu. Decent with combos, but he's just kind of weak, honestly.
Ugh, eight Kobans this time, huh? I mean, apparently, the problem is that, like, Circle doesn't do anything with him. Alright. Warsaw, please come inside. The will of the gods is... Hmm. The disturbance in the order of all things in nature is the work of the Kijin. A man from the old blood will become an Oni. Slay the Kijin and risk both blood and land in his struggle. After this fight has taken place, saviors will appear in the form of a man of Saisam, a man of Pigda, and a girl who wanders in search of a samurai who smells of sunflowers. These three saviors will carry out a great opunire in the place of those from the old blood. If this is done, the laws of nature will be restored. The Oni will burn away. And those from the old blood will arrive at a land where they may live in peace. Just as it says in the stories that I have heard since I was a child. If he is to carry out the great Opunire in my place, then I suppose that means I must entrust the red gem to him. I suppose it does. I must see what this man is made of. But how will I know it is him? That shouldn't be too difficult. Right now, he is being ravaged by snake venom. Snake venom? <laughs> I see. So the witch got to him, did she? That's going to give him a bit of trouble. Worso, there is one more thing. The Kamui are going to test your strength. You must be very careful on your way home. Don't let your guard down. Oh wow, okay.
Oh god, all right. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Forget it. Wait, what the hell? Let's try that again. Wait a second, wait, wait, wait. He was doing something weird when I got up all close like that. Hold on a second. Oh. Oh, he does have a parry, okay, fair enough. There you were right, he is a counter person. I am ashamed. I could just never get his pairing to work before now. <clears throat> hmm. So it was this willow tree that fought me. No wonder it was so strong. What? Keep his counters in mind, then there's pairing or whatever it is. You know what? <laughs> 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 
Gotcha. So, it was this tree from the Southern Kingdom that I was fighting. I was unfamiliar with it. No wonder it was so tough. What? So, what have you been up to? The Kamui sent tree spirits to test me. And so I fought them. They were formidable opponents. I see. Uh, by the way, Gunanishi has left. Black Tengu appeared while I was on the road. I see. Curse that Kunanishi. As I suspected, she has been in league with the Matsumai. Warso, if we stay here, fighting may no longer be something we can avoid. Listen, my boy. This is very important. The White Tango and I will leave this place. We will seek out a means by which we'll be able to maintain our identity. I understand. Warso. Don't walk down the same path that your father did. I cannot change my path in this world. I am merely remaining faithful to the ways handed down since the ancient times. I see that nothing will change your mind. In that case, this is farewell. Is this the place I was burnt down in like the first level? I think it is. That's cool. You can hide all you like, but it's useless. You can never hide your auras, Black Tengu. <laughs> Nicely done, Warso. 
Our tricks won't work on you, eh? Kunanishi, what do you hope to gain from this? Warso, the legend says that if we use the gems that you and your sister possess, we will obtain all the wealth we could possibly hope for. It says that it will save those of us from the old blood. So why do you not use them? If they aren't used properly, they will only bring about our ruin. If I did that, I would be no different from the Matsumai or Kiji. You are as stubborn as your father. Like father, like son. Don't be smart with me, boy! Kill him! Okay, apparently uh, this is going to be like an endurance fight. See, because she'll just teleport away every time I get close to her. Wait, is that Barbara Go is that who Barbara Goodson's playing? Alright, do me a sub, look that up. Cause that sounds all like Rita Repulsa right there. What are you doing? Oh, you've given me such a headache! Okay, so once I beat all these suckers up, then they're gonna keep stop coming. Gotcha! You can have this old woman's life! <laughs> Well, that sure was a fight. Kunanishi, when we lost our mother, you took Nochiyu and me in and raised us as your own. Why? Why would you do this? Because I did a poor job raising you. Oh, go on, finish me. Fine. If you insist. Wait! Hold on! Make up your mind. Warso, I must tell you something. Uh, I was the one who convinced your father to oppose the Kijin. Oh, uh, I was also the one who sold him out to the Matsumai. What? Warso, your father was a sentimental fool. If this keeps up, we will be overrun by the Kijin. <sighs> and those of us from the old blood will not be able to survive. <sighs> Warso, do what your father could not. <sighs> Strike me down now and become an Oni. But I... Warsaw, you must 
understand. There will be no wait, hold on this time. There will not. And actually, I looked it up myself, and yep, that's Barbara Goodson, Rita Repulsa herself. Thirty-nine minutes, eleven or seventeen slash, hundred and thirty-two slash, one hundred slash, two dot that's not more than makes up for it. I kind of wanted to get you, let's Champlu or cocky Champlu that time, but oh well. Alright, what say you, Dari? Should we try to do one more level before we call it a night? Whoa, they just like. Don't you dare cancel! Don't you dare cancel! That's great. Don't you dare cancel. Man, they look very similar. The time for the great Ray has come. Yeah, okay, let's do one more. Cause then after, because then next time we'll do that long ass stage with them and then we'll be done with it. Oh wow. We just like skipped ahead a bunch, didn't we? Hello, come right in. This is what you want. Thank you. Please come again. <coughs> What do you need? I'm to think of it, I think this is the first time I've seen the town itself at night. Unless that's what happened the first time Mugen was there, which I don't think it was. I have found that people living in modern times can be so arrogant. It seems more often than not, they choose to dismiss ancient stories that have been handed down from father to son for many generations as nothing more than mere myths or fairy tales but they change their tune when a tale they believe to be a myth comes true they immediately think oh what a wonderful prediction that our ancestors have left for us how good of them to look into the future for the sake of our own well-being a seesaw man and a picta man 
and a girl in search of a samurai who smells of sunflowers makes three. It's just as the prophecy says. Whether or not this is really the case is open to interpretation, depending on how one chooses to look at it. However, Warso Tsuramaki, this descendant of the ancient blood, has already become an oni in his heart, just as the predictions said he would. Oh, what's that you ask? What fate does the prediction say awaits the Oni in the end? Well, that is an excellent question indeed. Elusive. Oh, and apparently this is mostly just going to be a boss rush. So, hooray! Mm -hmm. Oh! Who goes there? Hey, I know who you are. You're Warso Tsuramaki, head of those of the old blood, aren't you? I can't believe you're still alive. So, the serial killer who's been turning up here every night was you! I'm not the kind of man that goes around slashing at people indiscriminately. However, I will show no mercy to those who have broken their agreement with my father. <sighs> you look pretty tough. I better call for some reinforcements. Alright, that took a while. These people are weaklings. Hmm? <laughs> Please don't hurt me! 
fighting these people is pointless. Nevertheless, if I don't become an Oni... So there you are, Oni. <laughs> so, I'm an Oni, huh? <clears throat> A fiendish continent rarely seen. Can't you see that you're covered in blood? You must have taken one life too many. Your wicked soul is summoning forth the souls that wander the realm of the dead. What? Master Zen Banasuke Garata! You've come back from the dead! Curse you, Oni. You torment me even after I've died! Master Karata, defeat the Oni! I was wondering about that basket that some Japanese monks wear on their head. Goodbye. <laughs> Only an Oni could defeat a soul with that much hatred in his heart. All right, let's see how you fare against this soul, then. Well, well, Master Hanaoka. From what I have heard, you were killed by some unknown wandering samurai wearing glasses. I suppose even in death you couldn't move on from this. What? Are you saying I'm not dead? The fact that you haven't realized that you're dead is proof that you still haven't moved on. Come, use this Oni from hell. Let him sever the ties that hold you to this world. What? An Oni? I'm a samurai. I don't fear such things! Oh yeah, this guy. I like how they didn't even, like, record any new lines for anyone. They just recycled everything. You were able to defeat a man with a soul that thirsts only for life. Goodness. I see now that you have become a true Oni indeed. Hmm. I suppose this means that I must fight an Oni with an Oni. Then let us see how you fare against this man. A man who was turned into an Oni while he was still alive. Oh, Boss Tsubaki. You look as terrifying as ever. I have been waiting in hell for a man named Mugen. But it seems he stood me up. 
I am sorry, but Mugen is not here. However, this man may be an even more powerful Oni than you are, if you can imagine that. What? An Oni? This guy's really an Oni? <laughs> That's hysterical! He's an Oni that I must kill then! Fortunately, I only have to fight him once, and I remember his pattern, so... Whoa, 26 hit combo? Not bad. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm an Oni! I'm an Oni! Possible. How can it be that one Oni cannot subdue another Oni? Is that it? Is that all you've got? I see that fighting you here will solve nothing. Warso, have you become a true Oni? Perhaps the only one capable of killing you now is Master Antonioni himself. Antonioni? Ezo Castle no longer belongs to the Matsumai. Wait! I am not foolish enough to take on an Oni by myself. Farewell! <coughs> Alright. Last fight. Or not. Dang it! Who are those guys? I can't believe this! Why did Jean and Mugen have to pick now to disappear? Huh? Ah! Be quiet. Hey, wait a minute. I know you. You were Warso Tsurumaki, that serial killer who's been going around here lately. I'm not a serial killer. Oh, man. I was worried about getting snatched by a bunch of weirdos, but who do I run into instead? A serial killer! Silence. They'll find us. Too late. With all the ruckus you two are causing, it would be hard not to find you. What do you want? Hey, I know you. You're Warso Tsurumaki, the serial killer, right? No offense, but my business today isn't with you. It's that girl there that I want to talk to. 
in her eyes says that she's searching for something. Could she be? All right, that's that. I got a busy day tomorrow, so I'm gonna head out. Oh, and don't try to follow me, okay? These fellas are gonna keep you company now. See ya. From the old blood, we have come to Ezo from the next world and turned into Kiji. Warso, it is our Kiji clan that will unite this land and receive its wealth. Hmm. Actually, don't you guys think that you look a little odd? Make fun of us! Listen up, kid! You're a dead man! I wonder why part of the voice acting was cut off there. It was just kind of weird, you know? Okay, so there are, it's a three-phase boss fight then, interesting. Or three different boss fights with three... Well, that's interesting, I'll give it that. You're the leader of those from the old blood, aren't you? Very impressive. If we kill you here... It would make controlling your people very easy for us. Give in, Warso! You are going to die! Give in, Warso! You are going to die! Why did they give him a Russian accent? Also, I love the name Antonio Neo Neo Neo. Antonio Neo Neo! One more batch and we're done.
It doesn't matter. We can't walk away now. You are correct. This is the only land we have. Why is he fighting with a giant pizza cutter? Saw blade thing. Is that an actual weapon? I should look that up after I'm done with this. That's that. Protect this land. Protect the old blood. Ah, oh, so protecting one's land makes him powerful, does it? <laughs> you could never understand the suffering we endured after being driven out of our homeland. We drifted along like castaways until we arrived here. We resolved in our hearts to make this our new home. Getting the Matsumai to submit to us was simple. Nothing is easier to manipulate than the greedy. But you, from the old blood, your people were another story. My father and the people from the old blood. They never turned you newcomers away. But Lord Antonioni is not interested in coexisting with the old blood. So we became Kijin. We will eliminate all who oppose us. Then we have opposite goals. We do. All of us are Oni, but you and Lord Antonioni want very different things. Antonioni, curse you, Kijin. Have you already defiled our holiest of sights, Turumaki Castle? Alright, I think we're gonna call it a night here then. What did you think of that, Dari? And I got a new album. And you are a... Persevering Champlu. So, Dari, what did you think of that session? <laughs> Alright, so on Sunday we'll tackle this love last stage and then we'll be done with the game for good. So, until next time, this has been Professor Icepick with 
sunflowers and grasshoppers. See you next time.